isn't it about to rain? Flooding everywhere. And um, I'm on the cur a curvy test road of mine and testing autopilot, which seems to be doing okay. It's interesting. It's not seeing some of the lines it's bouncing in and out there. But it seems to be taking the roads pretty good on the curves. Pretty amazing stuff. Uh, well, just an update there on rain driving. Um, I might try another patch of the road. All right, see the rain has gotten even worse. Really bad stuff here. Coming up to a bridge area where I was told that there is um, cars stuck in the middle of the road because the flooding's so bad. They're hydro locked, which is something. That's not a problem for an electric car, thankfully. I'm actually going to have to take a shortcut to get here because the main intersection is so far blocked. But let's see here. Yeah, this is the edge of the parking lot. You see it's flooded all the way across. People can barely make it through. Can hardly see the median, which there is a median there. Definitely dangerous and not recommended. Several cars over here are stuck. Um, I don't know if you can see right here. My sensor's picking up that... Uh, I'm driving in deep enough water where it's noticing it. So yeah, maybe not recommended, but I'm gonna go ahead and roll suspension all the way up to very high and see how we go here. I think it's interesting, you can see how deep the water is, especially in this deepest spot here. On this side of the road, it's deeper. Anyway, I'm going through. So, <laughs> thanks to Tesla. There's no worries. <laughs> There's a lot more water on the road here. Very interesting. Not the safest with 22 inch tires, I realize, uh, for hydroplane risks. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and slow down a little bit here. Okay, very interesting. Um, and notice all the heavy uh, water driving through and it says trailer detected, vehicle not equipped with, with tow package. A message had popped up on the screen, which I'm sorry I missed that said trailer mode enabled. Um, anybody heard of that happening? Okay, as you can see, I'm still in trailer mode even though I'm stopped. My thought is that I'm gonna have to uh, exit the vehicle and turn the vehicle off. I'll put it in park real quick, um, just to see what it does. Back in the drive. Still said it's in trailer mode, which is very interesting. I don't know if we can go to settings and try to figure out where that's at. So, just a heads up, this could happen in heavy, deep water in the rain, or snow, I would imagine. Okay, I came back through that flooded spot again on the other side, and which is actually even deeper. At that point, there was um, at least two cars that had been hydro-locked and were done, and all the rest of the cars were turning around, and um, I watched two more get hydro-locked right behind me as they tried to follow me. Um, and my wake was cast so large, um, I think it went ahead and hydrolocked their motors, their engines as well. But what's interesting, my suspension had gone back down to high from very high, and um, so water was coming up over the hood, kind of like off-roading, um, like I've experienced in the past with big diesel trucks, but um, cars driving fine, um, heading back into the office, rain slowed down a little bit, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna check on see on the frunk, the frunk liner to see how well it held up to that sort of abuse. Uh, when it stops raining here, I'll pop it open and see uh, see how dry it is in there. Um, or in a second here when I pull in, and rain slow down enough that it won't get too badly soaked. All right, moment of truth. Sorry, it's raining pretty good here. Let's see how this frunk did and this all this water. Still dry as a bone. See water here, but dry in the frunk. <laughs> 